Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a plugin. After a few years of plugin tutorial delay and absence, I decided to continue the plugin tutorial today by updating it and merging the parts into one. Here are some parts that you need to know how to make a plugin. The first part is the plugin building, the second part is the coding, and the third or last part is the testing. Part 1 Plugin Building To start making a plugin, first you must have a template. These templates can be found on Theatown Forum. You may want to choose the size you want for your plugin. After you decide which size, you can save the template you've chosen and start making. For me, I choose the to buy to template, where in that case I'm making a modern house. Next, open Pixly app, then find the template you've saved and edit it. And now you will start making your plugin. In order to make it fast, I'm going to speed this up. To watch the better speed version, the link for the video is found in the video description as this was based on what I did since last few months. When you are done with your plugin, let's proceed to the next part. Part 2. Coding. Open the Town form, then go to the portal. Then, scroll down more and tap the plugin creator tool. As you can see, this is the plugin creator. You can see a few options here, including manifests, graphs, and exports. Let's start by filling up the manifest stage. In the manifest stage, it represents how a plugin needs to be shown in detail on local plugins tab when installed. It shows the plugin name, its description, and the author. After you have finished the manifest, you will now move on to draft stage. Select the draft type of what your plugin acts, then, tap the button to add a draft. As you can see, there are a bunch of things you need to put for a draft. Put an ID or rename an ID for your plugin. You may want to put a plugin name on the ID, instead of randomizing numbers and letters, to make it simple. For the frames, tap add a custom frame. Tap choose file to select a file. You will only choose a plugin building you have made. 
In here, you can put the width of the plugin and its height. My plugin size is to buy two, so I'll put the width and height to two. In level, you can choose whether your plugin could be poor, middle, or rich. From my plugin, I choose middle. Here, you can see other optional attributes needed for the plugin to work in extra sessions. Although it may not be required but optional yet, but for my plugin, I really need some attributes, since my plugin's ground was transparent and needs a work balance. It is also required to include build time and people, since some of these attributes are important for measuring its quantity type of how a plugin could fit into them. It's up to you if you need to put some attributes for your plugin, since it is merely optional. Now that you have completed them all, it is time for you to export. Tap Export as Zip Archive to export your plugin as Zip File. Download the Zip File. Make sure to save or move your plugin Zip File to Theatown then Plugins folder. Since your plugin is now coded, it is time to move on to third or last part. Part 3. Testing First, open Theatown. I hope this helps you on how to make a plugin. If you want more tutorials like this, remember to like and subscribe for more.